a slave instead. So the thing is, like, the Bible says to um, God says to um, Abraham, Ishmael is going to have twelve sons who are princes. That that literally means prince because Ishmael is the grandson of Pharaoh, so those sons would be princes. Yeah, makes sense. What's your favorite scripture in the Bible? I don't have a real favorite scripture. I like reading the whole thing. I like reading them, but there's certain scriptures that I like more than the others. classic ones. I like the old newer ones. I like the newer ones better because I feel like they're more clearer than they're more modern. Because you understand that during the Old Testament times, it evolved around, around, around sacrifices and stuff like that before Christ. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? About sacrificing animals and stuff that we don't really have to do anymore. It's, it's cool to learn about it. It's something that's not government anymore either. Yeah. But you know what thing I found really interesting? There was a scripture that I always heard about since I first got saved. And I never remembered where in the Bible it was. And Pastor actually went over it today. What was it? Before. Because I always thought about it. Like, I thought about it for, for ages, for months. And I'm like, where? I, I, honestly, I don't know why I didn't Google it, but I never Googled it. And it's like, where is the scripture? Because I heard, I read it. Like, I know I read it. But it's like, where is the scripture? But Pastor finally went over it today. And I was like, oh. It's in the book of Genesis. I thought it was in the New Testament for some, for some reason. I always thought it was in the New Testament, but it's in the Old Testament. It's chapter 12, verse 3, which says, I will bless those that bless you, and I will curse those that curse you. Yeah. That scripture always stuck out to me. Because it's so true today. Because that is so true today. If you bless someone, you'll bless you. But if you curse somebody, he'll curse you for it. Like things like how, how when you bless me, all three of you bless me all the time, you get blessed back for that. I bless you, Jakar. I bless you three million times. So I can get it back three million times. Yes, I bless you a thousand times. I get a thousand times. You've already been doing it. Think about it. You know many what times I've been doing lately? I've you've done with car fare. Yeah. That alone is a blessing right there. Getting me back and forth to Met from back from Manhattan to Brooklyn all the time. Yeah. Oh, the I reason why I asked you guys uh, what size are you in? Sneaker? Because I have a size 12 sneakers I can't fit. I can't fit 12. My I can't fit 12. What size? They're too small. I'm a 13. They're too big uh -oh. and they're too small. No, they're too, they're too big for me. What, what size are you in sneakers? I wear a size 10 and a half. I've never been any higher than that. So the thing is, when you get taller, your feet don't necessarily grow. I don't know. Unless in my case. Well, because things like, I know so with women, though, like, for instance, I can be the same height as a woman, but I have bigger feet than she has. It's like, here's with Shola. Shola is about an inch taller than me, and she's much bigger than me. But the thing is, she's still, like, a seven in shoes, and I'm a ten in shoes. Well, men's got bigger feet than women. So the thing is, like, what size do you want shoes? You can't compare a man or woman because men got bigger size. So what size do you want shoes? Yeah, I know. I'm in the team. Your size eight? Wow. So they're too big for well, they're too small for me and too big for the rest of you guys. It don't fit me size so I look like Michael Jordan walking around. That has something to do with Michael Jordan. That's thing I find weird though. I think yeah. they have a size ten um, shoe and they're taller than me. What other shoes? They probably fit Margot. Shoe? Probably fit Margot. I don't even wear this because like, like I tried to wear it because like. I lost the receipt when I when That's I meant to take it out. Yeah, I, I, I tried it. It, it could work, but I can't do it for no long periods of time. I can't. You know what y'all need to do? Y'all need to declare a brilliant fold blessing. It sounds good too. Brilliant fold. Doesn't sound nice. Seven fold. Trillion fold. Trillion. Trillion fold. I mean, look, if you're gonna go, you go all the way. Go. Gazillion fold. A trillion. I'm fold. blessed. Nice. Trillion fold. Well, I think billion. I think billion dollars. You know, that's what I want to Billion. Heck no, I want to get to a hundred billion. We gotta know what you gonna do with all that. You know, if, you, if you had a hundred billion dollars, what would you build do? Build them. I build God's world. I mean, um, no. Uh, if you had a hundred trillion, what would you do with it? I would share it. Share it with the world. You, you have know, no choice because you have time. Oh, no, I, I ain't share. I'm not trying to make the world any better than it is. I'm trying to. I'm trying to, well, not, not this I'm trying to speed up. Nah, you know, for some reason, I would I, buy TV networks and take yeah. out all that crap they got. Yeah. I would actually buy the, the U.S. debt. Really? Yeah. I would pay off the world debt. I mean, and if then you I think about it, it would be a great no, investment. No, 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 no. I would, I would pay off the whole world's debt, and I would lock up all those evil, deceiving people. Lock them all up. All the devious. And you, you won't even need 
like security guards, you'd be like, get to angels, yo, Gabriel, yo, Daniel. Yeah, sorry. Well, <laughs> I would laugh at all the serious people. Yeah, you, you put see some, what's happening. Put some more Christian yeah. television. Yeah. Nobody's scared too, because they'd be like, put some, some more this? Christian television. Yo, I'm confused, and Daniel, um, because I Daniel's thought. Daniel's a very confusing book. Yeah, and Daniel, at the end, I thought it was Jesus that appeared to him, but Marguerite tells me that it was an angel. It, it, no, it was an angel. It was an angel, right? Because the way it was described, it's like just the way, the same way you described Jesus in Revelation with bronze, you know, arms and legs. The seals, the seven seals. So, what's your favorite scripture up? in the Bible? Because here's a book. Huh? I read, I read that chapter in the Bible. <laughs> It's, ch it's um, Daniel. I read that I scripture. Know. I have a lot. I really like the one that says, "Don't worry about tomorrow." Because yeah, it's like worry about Matthew today chapter because six. You, that because today has, has, has yeah. Yeah. Yes, and Matthew chapter six. In Peter and in John. Philippians 4, 4 19. Like my gosh, it's about my knee according to his riches of glory in Christ Jesus. What? Like so... <laughs> no, I like this scripture. It's in Luke chapter. Yeah, have you ever seen that book, um, the, the small green book uh, about the, the Psalms? The what? No, I mean, have you ever seen, it? it's like, it's, they, they usually give these books out on the street, but it's like, um, it's like a small book, like, it says like Proverbs or Psalms or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I had that at home, but I, I lost mine. I don't think, it's like, I, I thought like about buying just the New Testament, but the whole book is so essential, like, you can't just get half a book, you know what I'm saying? I, I did that with one of my audio Bibles, and it did my book. Yeah, <laughs> didn't that the video from last night with Shola and all of us, when, they, when we all bandmates dancing? <laughs> yeah, that's the video from last night with Shola and all of us, when we all bandmates dancing? Yeah, I do. Is it on there? Mm -hmm. Can I see it, please? Oh, Check out. This is this is a scripture. This is a scripture that I like. My battery is about to die. Anyway. What scripture is it? It's Luke it's chapter right. eleven it's verse right. nine, which is chapter eleven. Yep. It's not that. It takes. It says, uh, "So I tell you, oh, keep on asking, reason? and you'll be given what it you ask for. Here, keep on looking, out, and you will find. Yep, keep on knocking, before? and the door will be open. Right. For everyone who asks receives, and finds, and the door is open for everyone who knocks." Power source. I like that scripture. Do you guys hear the scripture I just read out loud? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, have I have it on my wall, actually. Post way. I have a bunch of scriptures on my wall. Like text me to let her know that since we're together, I don't have any Wi-Fi. Hold on, let me call Marjorie real quick and find out where he's at.